<laughs> oh well. But I'll just find the monster. Oh yes, Larson. A press line. Isn't that what they use to treat schizophrenia? It's not for me. I... Oh, one of your other personalities, perhaps. Hmm? <laughs> had a horrible night and I I forgot to refill my prescriptions yesterday and I I, uh, I mean I woke up I don't, I don't even know where I am I, <laughs> and I've kicked you out of your own place and uh, Darling, you did not kick me out I offered right. it to you so that you could have some space now stop and relax and breathe now you can get more medicine right yeah right right Katie it, See, I just keep thinking about Mom, and I, I, uh, remember her little spells, you know. Karen, this has nothing to do with Mom. You're just stressed out, and you can deal with it. Yeah. Sure. Just remember, I love you. Yeah, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Excuse me, ma'am. Police. Sergeant Sweeney? Six years in the force, ma'am. You live up there? No, I'm just staying there for a few days. What happened? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Seems like a vagrant sleeping in your doorway got stabbed in places you don't want to see. So naturally, we're cording off Thank the air. Thank you, Sweeney. You're uh, water on the radio. Yeah. Just transferred from the 14th. Must be some kind of revenge. I'm Lieutenant Reed. Karen Lawson. You, uh, you own the club downstairs, Karen? No, it belongs to my sister, but I'm just staying here temporarily. Was well, somebody killed or... Murdered. Third one in this area in three months. Are you, are you staying alone here? Yes, but just for a few days. Is, is there a, is there a front entrance through the club? Yes. Well, you should start using it. Uh, that call was for you, Lieutenant. Must have misunderstood. Miss Lawson, we, uh... We might have a few more questions for you. Maybe I could come up to the apartment. Will you be in later? Fine. Let me guess. You figure you get more out of the subject if she's at ease and relaxed, and where better to conduct an interview but her own cozy apartment? Where else? <laughs> Let's uh, see what forensics has for us. So when do I get to be the good cop and not the cop who goes for coffee? Well, I do have Stephen Bosco's home phone number. Just relax and breathe. There is nothing to be afraid of. Miss Martin? Oh, thank you. Okay? Yes, thank you.
What do you want? Uh, double duty electronics, ma'am. You got some wiring work to be done? No, no, I, I, don't, I don't think so, no. Mirror image. Dance floor light shorting out. I was knocking at the club entrance downstairs, but nobody answered, so I came back here. This is the seventh, isn't it? Ah, uh, please, it, it... I just feel better if, if you could come back another time. Well, whatever you say. I hope it's not too important, because it'll be another three weeks before I can get back here. You give the office a call when you know what you want. But wait. Uh, can you prove what I mean is do you have any identification? Sure. All right. Come in. It's, uh, down there. I'm, uh, sorry about all the confusion, but nobody told me that you were expected. Don't even think about it. Here. All the crazies running around these days. You're better off safe than sorry. Saw you today, didn't I? What? But the uh, pharmacy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Small world, innit? Mm. How's it going? Oh, uh, pretty good, actually. I uh, think I tracked down that problem. One of them, anyway. That didn't take very long, did it? You want a drink? A little early, isn't it? Maybe it's a little late. Moments. That's what life is made of, you know? Small incidents, casual meetings. I don't think... We should ever let those moments pass us by because we just might not ever have them again. What's your name? Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> You're very mercurial, aren't you? What a lovely word. Well, electricians sometimes go to college and get degrees in literature. <laughs> I'm sorry if I frightened you before. I'm not frightened now. I am. <laughs> How much longer is it going to take you to do whatever it is you have to do around here? Most of the morning. You need a break. I have to take a shower, so why don't you come upstairs and talk to me while I do it? Well, I do have to check the wiring upstairs, too. Aha, uh -huh. you see? Now you know what room to start in. Yes? Karen, it's me. I just wanted to see how you were holding up. Oh, hi, Katie. Oh, I feel so much better now. 
Katie. Sometimes it's like I'm two different people. It's like I have this secret life that's a secret even for me. Hey, Katie, I know you only want what's best for me, and I, I really don't know what I'd do without you, okay? Thanks for calling. Bye. Oh, God, what? <laughs> I don't mean to scare you. I thought you'd be uh, expecting me. Please just don't hurt me. Hurt you? <laughs> this? I found that downstairs. Shouldn't leave things like that lying around, especially with all the murders in the neighborhood. Well, you know, there must be at least a dozen police downstairs right now in that alley, and they're they're looking for this knife. Well, we'll just have to see if they get it. Yeah. Later. Huh? Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Don't touch oh, me. No, that's not the signals I was getting. No, just take your hand and leave me. Miss Lass? This man just tried to attack me. What the hell are you talking about, attack? Police. <clears throat> I was invited. What are you doing here? I'm uh, working on the wiring downstairs. Double duty electronics. I was just doing my job, and a uh, little lady here must have got bored and was wondering what it'd be like with the hired oh, help. No. Pop a few too many pills? Huh? Got a nice little high going? Place looks like a pharmacy around here. Could you please just make him go back downstairs and go to work or do whatever? Fine with me. Unless you've got some questions. Okay. Now, why don't you tell me everything that happened from the beginning? Okay, but, uh... Well, it's, suddenly he was just in my apartment. I mean, see, I let him in, but, but just to do the work downstairs. And I knew that I shouldn't have done it because, see, he... He followed me home from the drugstore. But, but he had a legitimate work order? Yeah, well, no. See, he had this knife, and I thought it was the murder weapon. He, he had a knife? Yeah, it's, it's right over here. I can show you. It's right here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. It was right here. I don't Karen, understand. It was, Karen, Karen wait, wait, I believe you. Wait, wait, Karen, maybe I believe you. I just don't want you to jump to conclusions, but all it, right? Now, I'm going to go downstairs, and I'm going to ask our friend if he knows where that knife is, yeah, okay? It'll only take a few minutes. So you sit here, and you just try to relax, okay? Okay. We got a deal? Yeah, but you'll come right back. Before you know it. Okay. Okay. Hello? Hey, Mr. Electrics, I'd like to talk to you about a knife you found. Hey, officer. What are you doing here? Just keeping an eye on the club. Sometimes they come back to the scene of the crime, right? What? Oh, right. <laughs> I thought Riker was a smooth operator. Riker, that was my last lieutenant. He was good, but Reed makes him look like a Bush League player. With a pretty lady like Miss Lawson, how long can he stretch an interrogation out? Days. Gotcha. One of these days, I'm going to be in Reed's shoes. Car 17. Uh, Sweeney here. Where's the lieutenant? Lieutenant Reed's questioning a witness. What's up? Forensics got a new blood sample, not the victims. We're on our way. 1020 in progress? Sam Levine down at Forensics. Got a new blood sample for us. It's not the victims. A little advice. I give the lieutenant another five minutes if you're ever considering promotion. Gotcha. Lieutenant Reed. Don't ask me. Last I saw him, he was with you. No, 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 no. He came downstairs to talk to you. Well, I had to go up to the truck to get more wire. Then it's just the two of us alone together all over again. <laughs> what about it? Well, I do remember we were rather rudely interrupted. All I remember is you making me out to be some kind of a rapist to a cop. Right. I'm sorry. Look, I was confused. I was frightened. 
And I saw you with that knife. Don't you understand? I mean, there was all that excitement and then all that fear. Oh, is that what turns you on? A little uh, pain with your pleasure? What about you? No, we're talking about you now. Like you said, we're all alone. Just the two of us. No more police lieutenant. No more knife. No more excuses. How badly do you want it? I tell you what. You can do anything you want to. If you can catch me. <laughs> can't hide forever. What's going on? What? You forget our little deal already? Let's get to it, baby. No! Please! Please! No! Time to win. Play that game without getting no! hurt. No! Where are you, Katie? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Sergeant, you better come take a look at this. I'll call for backup. That won't be necessary. It's okay. And I forgot to refill my prescription for my pills yesterday. And I, I just, I, I kicked you out of your own apartment. Darling, you did not kick me out. I offered it to you so that you could have some space. Now, stop and relax and breathe. Well, I do have to check the wiring upstairs, too. Ah, you see? Now you know what room to start in. I'm working on the wiring downstairs. Uh, double duty electronics. You can do anything you want to me. If you can catch me. Katie. Katie, where are you, Katie? Oh, I look very much like my sister. Come on in, Sergeant. I just have to ask you a few more questions, Miss Lawson, about your sister. Of course. Sit down. Don't you want a drink? I'm having scotch. Oh, excuse me. Are you on duty? <laughs> well, I'm on duty, but I'll have a gin martini. Just breathe the vermouth over it. Of course. Poor Karen, you know. It's really very sad. I mean, the whole time we were growing up, she'd just retreat into herself, be different people. Do you know what I mean? Gotcha. I worked on a case like that one time. Multiple personalities. How did you deal with that? Um, 
As best I could. You see, my sister was a very private woman. She never let anyone else get very near. I'm not like that. One more time? Sure. I'm out of ice. The blood samples on the first victim's clothing, the one in the alley, mm -hmm. they matched your sister's. We have the same blood group. Gotcha. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to assume that she murdered him as well. Well, just a few more questions should wrap up the investigation. Gotcha. Gotcha.